All right, so we are going to start with Fantastic Beasts. How scandal and controversy have derailed the Wizarding franchise. And that's, uh, to say the least, it was funny because I was like, trying to think of like all the stuff we could talk about in regards to this because first of all jk rowling i didn't even pull up any articles regarding jk rowling everyone knows uh what the you know uh, twitter's issue is with her mm -hmm. and her beliefs um in regards to feminism her beliefs in regards to uh, various ideologies that she at one point courted through her uh the creation uh the one of the further issues that people have with this um uh, with this franchise like one of the things that's coming out just th the other day is a direct result of her pandering to another group of people and that's uh making dumbledore uh gay which was never explicitly said in the books uh it was never hinted at it had nothing to do with it because why would he tell harry potter that anyways that's weird only like, in america do we want to discuss our sexuality yes with our uh, students. somebody should make like an okay groomer shirt with a picture of dumbledore on there uh no that's, the thing is like Dumbledore is a when you read the books like a beloved and treasured yes, character, is. right? Like everything she did after him, which is also kind of funny because it's like posthumously done. Like he dies in the books, and then spoiler to Mary, who's never read them, <laughs> all ret it's all retcon. <laughs> but you know it's okay. I, mean? I wasn't going to read yes. them. Don't I worry. Good, just to like be a little rebel and like join American <laughs> culture. So it says a day prior to the glitzy world premiere of Fantastic Beasts: The Secrets of Dumbledore, uh, Ezra Miller, who was a key role in the upcoming Harry Potter spinoff sequel, was arrested for disorderly conduct and harassment. Yes, uh, mean. I, I pulled this one up because this is just uh, I, there's. I have a couple articles here. This other one is from Fantastic Beasts, uh, reportedly on thin ice. But this one is from the other day. It's it's what's the date today? It's the 13th. So this one's from yesterday. So he's just arrested. Uh, in another timeline, Miller, known for striking red carpet outfits and zany interviews, would have been front and center to promote uh, The Secrets of Dumbledore, which opens in North America on the 15th. Instead, the incident and other eyebrow-raising incidents forced Warner Brothers to downplay Miller's involvement in the franchise. This is very similar to, I mean, it's not what we were talking about earlier, but you mentioned Army Hammer. Uh, when was something we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. regarding like cannibalism or something like that because he had his creepy texts that he got caught with but he had a movie that just came out called death on the nile where he's a bigger name actor so in almost all the promotional material you would have seen his name when is he gonna get cast as a cannibal i just like i want to know incredible just inc like remake uh cannibal holocaust with him uh in the in the what is that like what New is Guinea? cannibal holocaust is uh, it a show or a movie it's a very i don't know <laughs> We'll talk about it off air. It's a, it's a movie. Horrifying, it's a though. movie from. I don't know the, if I do. <laughs> it's a movie from a long time ago that was uh, so realistic looking that the the create the the director had to go before like the Senate Judiciary Committee to prove that it wasn't real, that it wasn't real cannibalism oh in the goodness. movie. Yes, because he and went, Army Hammer is like, but could it? We could we could try it out. Yes, yeah. So, so but what they're saying is like Ezra Miller is being prevented from promoting this movie because nothing regarding he's his, still. I saw a trailer for this movie when I went to the movies the other day. weekend and like he is in it yeah. i was like oh there's that guy who beats people up when he's feeling erratic yes but normally they would have them on press junkets right now they'd be giving interviews and the last thing they're like we don't know what the hell he's gonna say on the interview keep him away send uh send also, eddie redmayne we don't eddie redmayne's great uh also we don't know what sets miller off you like eddie redmayne oh yeah for sure uh, i'm i i like I, i'm he's just so handsome it's a weird thing to be like you're just usually so no strong opinions and then all of a sudden you get a, i love eddie redmayne I don't follow his career super intensely, but yeah, I've liked the stuff I've seen him in, and uh, he is super cute, and he married a girl named Hannah, so I respect his taste. So in somebody without life. your name, because your name is Hannah. Half so it's of my almost name. like he married you. It's, half of her, because her name's not Hannah. half of you. Well, I don't like to get creepy about it. Like, <laughs> are real people. Well, people are like, I was just so in love with celebrity, like, I cannot relate to that. No, but, me like, neither. He seems like, you know, a good enough person, and if he has any political opinions i don't care about them exactly he just looks nice you don't want to know him uh yeah i'm not surprised this whole franchise is going nowhere it seems like an expensive production that was unnecessary from the beginning never needed to happen i know that i know that there actually is a fair amount of market for continued harry potter interest like i sort of pitched the other day if millennials are the peak audience for that they are actually moving into being parents at this age and they're introducing their children to it so there's a reawakening of a uh, potential you know cash flow here's where i will actually remember your uh, hot take the other day about james bond and reality tv shows you are scarred i am I'm scarred about that it was it was, it was it was it was such an offensive idea that i've yet to i, I have nightmares about it 
Um, but I'm saying like Harry Potter is the type of franchise that does work for promotion outside of the of just making material. You know, uh, Harry Potter Wizarding World from Universal is still extremely popular. Yeah. So it does well to brand outside of the movies. And I don't think they needed to the continue way the franchise. That, like Marvel and DC are just like really rich universes that have a lot of characters and make a lot of references that like repeatedly come up. Mm -hmm. I think I I understand why they were like let's take this story that comes from a textbook that gets referenced which is every you think it's a genius idea i mean it sounds good it's just that like i i could be wrong but it i'm getting a whiff that just rowling really doesn't care about the authenticity of her story anymore no, I, you know, I, she I, sold out in a lot of ways i don't know if that's uh, of the original movies absolutely she cared a great deal about as for this since there is no source material that it's pulling from just it's pulling from vague source material and mm -hmm. references but there is no uh i guess the term would be like character bible that would be super referential with all the details like harry potter has from the backstory yeah. of the books and she has proven herself to be a below average screenwriter at best well and uh, a playwright one, she's a fantastic author but not a fantastic a fantastic negotiator because she's getting a good cut of this oh yeah, yeah. she's uh like no why I've mentioned this before. No YA author will ever get the deal she had because they know they know now that if there's ever another thing that blows up the way that that did, they want to get all of it, not what she yeah. does. She had full say about characters yeah. uh, and every decision that went on in those movies, and that does not exist in in these industries mm -hmm. anymore. The other thing that I would say here is, I, so I saw one trailer briefly, and it looks more modern, like. Yeah than the Harry Potter films do, even as they progress through time. They take place in the 90s. Which doesn't make sense because they should have happened prior to Harry Potter. A long time ago. Like it, it's just an inaccuracy in what they're doing. And again, I think that makes it clear that this is like a money-making venture. Yeah. Um, and it's depreciating that returns. maybe they should have not pursued, right? Yep. Like make the they're one- They're throwing all of these things into a big stew of intellectual properties. That, thank you, that's what I was gonna say. It's and literally- And just like feeding it to us, like here's your gruel. All they care about is IP. Uh, these things, these properties are just IP it's farms just now. Good. The first, The first one, the first one did 812 million. Mm -hmm. That is very, very good, uh, especially for something that's just a side franchise. And like uh, I said, like, it was a rich universe. People missed it. Like, there's a reason it made money. You play that music, uh, you because they use the same score, uh, you know, in that, that's it's like this weird limbic trigger. Like, you hear it and you know exactly where you are, yeah. which is a, a testament to the person who wrote that. But then the second one did uh, eight, uh, 654 million. So we've just dropped by another 200 million. And that's without the scandal that's going on now between Ezra Miller. Uh, a lot of people take issue with them getting rid of Johnny Depp, who we're going to talk about later because they, uh, they he got ousted from that role in favor of Mads Mikkelsen, who uh, arguably is a fantastic actor, but just... It puts a scandal on the company for... Yes. You know, I know we're going to talk about it in a minute, but, like, their involvement in the basically crucifixion of Johnny Depp. Yep. And then also there's, and then as if no more bad news could come out about it, we find out that Fantastic uh, Beast 3 has six second scene, a uh, gay scene edited out to appease Chinese audience. It was literally two lines of dialogue uh, and uh, people these days who are sensitive to knowing that they're being fed IP, what did you call it? Gruel? Gruel, uh, yeah. That, like, th that know that <laughs> we are being force-fed, um, corporatized IP farming uh, are sensitive to this stuff because this is like, it's blatant enough that they're just rehashing these properties, but then you see something where like, they can't even like stick to their own supposed morals values, yeah. and values long enough to just tell China to F off. So it says, uh, right. Warner Brothers has edited out six seconds from the new Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore film in China because it alludes to homosexual undertones. Dumbledore, I thought Tim sent an article earlier. It said, uh, it's, uh, uh, Harry Potter's very own Don't Say Gay. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, a, it's like, you preach these messages here that's fine whether whether you agree or disagree that's not what's important here it's that it's a corporate entity that's pushing it that folds at the drop of a hat well yeah i mean the way i see it i'm i think it's the chinese government's business what they will allow in their own yeah. country but it's unfair when the domestic audience for this especially parents who are thinking about what their children will see yeah they are not allowed to make a peep 
complaining about anything that's involved in this. No, nope. or, in the or entertainment in, that their children are consuming. In anything yeah. really anymore, you're kind of just accepted to you support whatever the major corporation right. tells but if you. The well, CP says it's not okay. Then it's not well, okay. Well, ultimately, this means that the whole franchise, the whole corporate, which we're not surprised by, you know, is only in this for the money. Exactly. If China won't screen it, they're not going to make the money, so they're going to put behind these supposed ideals for the money and it's the same way here like i think that you know i've always had the pet theory that jk rowling came out like announced dumbledore was gay to capitalize off of a lot of coming out trends at the time yeah it was and very... they're keeping it in here to try and appease an lgbtq uh lobbying industry that wants them to make it so that these types of characters appear in every kind of media right yeah. and it also is to you know legitimize a claim that jk rowling made that actually doesn't appear in any of her original source material right it's like they're like shadow editing the entire harry potter, ser potter series and they love the idea by producing this new material and the people who are super activist oriented are like there it is it's canon it's canon she said it's canon uh and i we're gonna talk about canon more later in the doctor who thing but uh it's it's regarded It'd be as like, like if the artist who designed the book jackets was like i always thought dumbledore was gay mm -hmm. like it's already out there it's already published like you may personally think that but that actually never appeared in the text i know she's the author but at that point it was like years afterwards that she was like oh by the way that character's gay i actually believe that she probably did think the whole time that he was but just it was a different I don't. and it was a different time it and seems fake to me it, I, I think it was totally to capitalize and make her art relevant to another generation of people who became sort of obsessed with the idea that they were gay people in literature which yeah. like you know I believe that she just, just didn't care is, at the time. I think she wanted the money. I think this proves that the Fantastic Beasts franchises literally exist to make more money off the backs of a successful yeah. young adult novel. Like, that's all this is. I just see it as, like, like maybe she did in her head, she, she believed that. But, like we said, it's not relevant to the story being told. So maybe she believed that in her head, and that's why she wrote uh, his motions as being flamboyant, that she had her own weird prejudices about it, uh, about what that means. And she just... But she says, but it's not relevant to the character to talk about it. Nah. Uh, I don't believe that she... Hard swerve. Uh, I don't believe that uh, it, it, her uh, bringing it out later had anything to do other than greed and, and virtue signaling. But I don't necessarily believe that she de might not have thought about, at least considered it back then. No, I mean, she was progressive in a lot of ways with this book. It includes yes. a number of minority characters There's the whole... in the original text. She, I mean, There's the no whole one will ever line. be able to convince you the fact that yeah. she only did that to become relevant to culture and now it opens up a door for this other strain of the franchise to try and stay relevant and make more money and the and the point is basically that the all of this combined um yeah. between that scandal or bottom I guess you, line it's like jk rowling johnny depp yep. ezra miller the ccp yep Probably other things that are making people mad too. Eddie Whatever Red you think about those people, Eddie or Redmayne, those decisions. Eddie Redmayne had his own thing where he had to like apologize For because he, offering to play a trans he, he offered to play a trans character. Like you can't win. Like I like can you like I imagine like I used to think like where are all the publicists now with all the stupid stuff celebrities say they were but asking for trouble with but all of this publicists must be just raking it in these days with the uh, with the formal apology like I can write a great formal apology if you need somebody to write an insincere uh, <laughs> corporatized court like corporate apology I got you and that's what this movie feels like to but me it's like it's weird because it's not the PR smart thing to do it seems to apologize because never nobody is satisfied so never really if you're skilled at pr you wouldn't advise you'd find a way to ignore it or, yeah, or find shift a way the to, narrative to shift the blame distract yep. how much does it cost to produce these movies so uh, a couple hundred million so likely. like yeah. when is it gonna be over uh never never because this also comes it's up corporate against rule. you guys are reminding me with all these various scandals that are attached to this franchise it's also doing something i hate which is making sequels to things that didn't necessarily need sequels it never needed it never needed like, to be made no at all no one let alone needed a sequel. to do this if nope. we just stuck to the rules that some stories are good as a one shot just yep. tell it once kind of situation she literally in influenced an entire generation and wrote a once in a lifetime set of stories also, like, why did the, the why did more stuff need to come the out the thing is like I, I get it they want to kind of rival the dc universe and have all these yeah. characters like if being on the show has taught me nothing it's that like when you have a complicated universe you could tell a million stories and that could be cool but there are other textbooks they could talk about the founders of hogwarts like they could do any number of things why did they need to 
continue to use this group of characters and actors to make this franchise more you know ornate and complicated and therefore shoot mm. themselves in the foot by having to just yep. kick up scandals every five seconds we gotta have our own uh, they gotta have like a story where hermione becomes an activist later on with her house self liberation with the- <laughs> but that's the thing like there's all sorts of progressive messaging in harry potter yes, no one ever there- fought that but like you don't need to then tack on these other random things to stay relevant you have like one of the world's most successful children's franchises book series in the world like just stop at that point like just go away yes uh well the, so the, the moral is like she did release um the something child whatever the cursed child and that was a play and then she released uh her own novel afterwards and nothing she writes other stories under a different name nothing has ever been as successful as harry potter yeah. and like that's cool girl like you accomplished something call it a day uh, I take issue with the idea of telling someone that they should just stop trying. Uh, uh, she doesn't. I don't. The thing is, <laughs> she doesn't need to make more money. Like it's being involved yes. in this is just to generate even more wealth. And like, you know, do whatever you want. I'm happy if you want to be a capitalist, but like, she doesn't actually need the money for well, anything. She's incredibly financially secure. If she just wants to write novels under a fake name for the satisfaction of being a writer, yeah, she does that. She writes like. But I think that like she returned all of this when none of them were as successful. Like that must be hard. On the other hand, stop. <laughs> She's just getting karma because she pandered to and the activists or slacktivists and then she got... they always come but they always come for you yeah it's then never they, enough they bit the hand that was feeding them uh my favorite is all the people who are like how can i enjoy harry potter knowing i hate jk rowling i'm like that must be a rough life do it anyways that must be a rough life to be <laughs> like oh so it's like oh i buy the games but i buy them like second hand i'm like she still got paid for that game <laughs> I think you should just enjoy whatever you like and read whatever literature you like, even if you don't agree with authors. Yeah. I think part of that is like making, sh- you know, I I think that it's good to pursue and appreciate art and creation, you know, from whatever source. But you don't have to live and die by their art. If you yeah. don't like J.K. Rowling, that's fine. But you not buying a copy of Harry Potter doesn't change anything she said, right? She already has the influence that she has. This is true. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.